Hey everyone, Akane's DX here with another Monster Hunter video. Ready to take down the tyrannical tyrant of the ancient forest, Anjanath. And up till now we've been using mostly melee weapons. Today I'm going to be using a heavy gun weapon of the Anjanath tree. Nashin Flame Canyon. Like all the others, no augmentations or anything, and pure Anjanath armor. Another reason why we're using a long-range weapon, Anjanath's armor, works better with it, since it has skills like artillery, special ammo boost, and fire attack. So, with a penetration charm, piercing ammo is going to deal a lot more. So since I don't use this weapon a lot, I'm just going to refill on everything I need. Beautiful. Organize it, and get ready for my quest. Martini's also ready, in his little small Anjanath outfit. Rawr. So cute. Not as fluffy as the Tobukadashi gear, but still adorable. Alright, and I'm expecting this to be a pretty difficult quest since Anjanath is a close range enemy. Meaning, fighting long range style with him, probably not the best idea. Oh, we also have only 30 minutes. Nice. Also, if he wins just one, if he faints me just once, he wins. If I kill him, I win. So it's a one-on-one, -on -one. well, Count Martini, it's two-on-one, but I can't leave Martini home. He gets lonely without me. All right, I gotta go defense up or I'm going to be fainted in like three seconds. I need something. All right, this should help out. All right, I'm hoping this goes well. I don't use the gun, the light bow gun or the heavy bow gun, almost not at all. So this is going to be fun to see how I do. Okay, I don't know much. I looked up some stuff about it, watched some tutorials, so we'll see how it runs. Let's see what's better, Anjanath Thomer or Anjanath himself. Because, just as a recap, reason I'm doing these videos, it's just a little fun thing. You get to try out different weapons from different trees from that monster, see how they stack, and also see if the monster's armor can actually help you win against the monster itself. I'm kind of curious about it, so I wanted to do them. Also, without doing these videos, I would have never used, like, say, the lance, because I thought it looked too bulkish. But actually, it works for my playstyle, which is countering. Alright, grab these, find where he is. Good. So, if I... So, I'm really happy I'm starting to do these videos. Now, enough of me rambling. Time for the hunt. Looks like he's out in the open. Perfect. What do I want to start out with, though? I know... I think I'm just going to begin the match with, uh, yeah, I'm going to begin right with the machine gun. Yeah, I didn't even know this thing had a machine gun until I looked just now. I know nothing about this weapon except for the ammo it uses. So, fun. Alright. this to hunt a beast oh, okay I have to load it at the most opportune time if I put it away okay that's all I need to know lovely all right oh it doesn't nice all right and surprise attack yeah that doesn't work on me buddy yeah, okay. Now he's pissed. Ooh. Alright, there goes Sticky. Okay, I think I'm going to work on getting this thing's uh, divination down real quick. If I ever use it more, yeah, because it's recoil. Oh no, need recoil reduction down immensely. Walk right 
right into that. Gotta put this away real quick. Gotta put that out. I'm just gonna eat this right away, because I need it. Control mantle on. Shit. Get that out. Alright. No! Not reload! Yeah, I'm just running through each of my ammo. It's probably not the best course of action, but since I don't want to sit and wait. Yeah, see, now he's moving. Now I'm just going to reload everything. Because when you're by yourself and you don't have someone to pull aggro for you, it's good to have uh, to uh, have temporal mantle and a high magazine gauge. Okay, well this is going to be useless for me in the next fight, so I'm just going to put flash pods out. Even if it doesn't do much against someone like Anjanath, it still makes me feel better to stun him just for a tiny bit. Gives me that extra push that I need. Ouch. Dang, he can jump far. Alright, this is... Oh, come on. I'm almost there. Oh, shit. Oh, this fight is not easy, guys. I'm telling you that much. Alright. Normal ammo 2. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Stun. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. Oh, okay. And... ouch! Sorry, I was counting my ammo there, I didn't mean to. Don't know why it was. Ugh, I hate those roars. Alright. Flame ammo will do nothing to him. He likes to jump a lot. Man, I've never seen this much of a jumpy engine out before. Alright, reloading everything. When I have a mantle back, I'm going to just blast them out. Did that reload everything? Nope, that's the sticky ammo. Alright. 
This is a scary fight. I wonder what... Because I am planning... When I fight Teostra, I'm planning to use his... Uh, long-range weapon against him. So I'm wondering how that's going to be, since he also likes to fight close-range explosions. So... I don't think we're going to fight Blue Nostra, though. Uh, clo uh, close and long-range. That's just bad. I'm going to fight her. Probably with her longsword. Okay! And Janath won that! <laughs> Alright. So. Not half bad fight there. Not half bad. Turned out as well as I expected. Uh, which means we need to finish this fight. We never leave a hunt unfinished. Should I change? No, we're gonna finish this with his armor. No, because he beat me fair and square with this, so. He deserves the best. Deserves my best. Which means, change equipment. Reaper. He defeated his own armor, which means he grants a passage to try to defeat me with this. Yeah, how, uh, how confident I am he won't defeat me, I'm not even eating. Yeah, see, he's running. Alright, this won't take long. Missed. Alright. Get over here, Janath. We're gonna finish this. to throw a flash button and make him drop, but I was a bit too late on that. Oh, actually? Nope. Moves too fast for the flash button to fly into where he was spot, so... Dang, nabbit! Alright. So if he, I actually used a close-range weapon, I could have probably defeated Anjanath, but... Will doesn't suffer on what ifs. I lost that fair and square. He fought a very good badge. Though this just proves my point. I do not recommend fighting uh, long range unless you have a partner with you or you're very, very good and confident in your skills. I was not. So that brings us up to five to two losses. Five wins, two losses. Throw him over. Oh, he didn't throw him over this time.
went right between his legs. That's not good. And defeated. All right. Well, we completed the hunt, but sadly, we lost the challenge. So I'm gonna have to call it there. And I will talk to you guys in the next hunt, which is going to be against Raffian. So, look forward to it. And I'll see you all later. Bye.